Attempts at turning a 300 foot section of road in the middle of Ohio City into an urban park may have hit a snag. There are questions tonight about what might be in the way in the event of an emergency. News 5's Jordan Vandenberg with more now from Ohio City. Ohio City Incorporated is right in the middle of a pilot that involves shutting down Market Avenue. They actually put these up at the beginning of July. But in the week since, people have taken tables, chairs, pool tables, a whole bunch of things, and put them in the middle of the street. The city officials have put a halt to that with concerns over safety. It wasn't that long ago you couldn't do this here. Instead of catching up with a friend, you'd be worried about getting caught in traffic. A carless Market Avenue sounds different, and it feels different, too. It just encourages people to mingle more, and the restaurants seem like they're kind of open between each other, so there's no worried about cars coming across. It's just wide open. It's more pedestrian-friendly. I think it's great for our little area. It gets people more involved. It's a little safer. It's not crowded with a bunch of parking around. I think it's great. Featuring Cleveland institutions like Great Lakes Brewing Company and Flying Fig, this part of Market Avenue is already a destination. And officials hoped by removing cars from the equation, an atmosphere could be created too. For three months, Market Avenue would be an extension of Market Square Park. For this location, if it's not Lorraine Avenue, I think this is a great idea, right? It, it encourages people to kind of walk around here, hang out. The last time I came, there was playing cornhole and there was picnic tables. It was great. Then came the concerns from city officials who granted Ohio City Incorporated the permit to close the road. The city spokesperson says there were two main issues. The first, the permit did not include anything about furniture in the middle of Market Avenue. The second issue is the potential obstructions that the patio chairs and picnic tables could be in the event of an emergency. The spokesperson also says the concerns were not prompted by the mass shooting in Dayton. Until Ohio City Incorporated submits an updated safety plan, the furniture will not be allowed, and those who come here regularly hope that changes. It added a nice touch with more seating. It's kind of hard to get into these restaurants sometimes at night. Officials from the city as well as Ohio City Incorporated will be discussing this issue at a meeting of the Special Events Steering Committee on Wednesday. Reporting from Ohio City, Jordan Vandenberg, News 5.